to welcome to the H3 podcast. Uh, thank you to Ring for sponsoring us. Quickly want to announce the new Teddy Fresh collection is out. Sorry to do this in front of you, Trisha. Love being part of the sponsorship. I know. I, I think it's so corny, but um, but here we are. We're live on TeddyFresh.com. A new drop. More about that later. Uh, today's guest. <laughs> Wait, is, can I get Teddy Fresh? Where is? Do you have yeah. it here? Yeah, we can hook you up. I love. Okay, I actually love it. I didn't know it was really? your guys' brand for real. People wear it to my really? shows, is? and I thought it was just a cool thing, and then I realized it was your brand and I was like oh. no way yeah. mm, but I still mm, love it mm, mm, mm. <laughs> well, let's see if, we'll see if you still like it after yeah, this that's interview. True. I know I feel like it's we already took the picture beforehand because yeah, I like don't know yeah. I don't know if we'll make it through this we'll see <laughs> um well first of all uh Trisha Paytas is here to are we here to squash the beef or roast the beef Ooh, I I, I want to I would love to squash it but I like you guys talking about me, so maybe we'll write That's what more. I figured. Thank but, you for saying that. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it's actually, can I just say, like, <clears throat> I actually genuinely hated you at the beginning of this year in May. Like, I genuinely, when you did From that video. From the Instagram really reality one? Yeah. Like, genuinely disliked you and thought you were, like, disgusting. Okay. And then Shane, I was like, how could you have gone on their podcast? And he's like, he's, oh. he's a troll. I was like, oh, I didn't know you were, like, a troll. I don't think I'm a troll. I think you're a troll. I think you're a troll. No. Are you a troll? No. No? I feel like you're a troll. You think? <laughs> I'm sure you're a troll. Like how? Like what does that mean I feel though? what it I'm mean, not a troll like what you. What it means is that you say things troll. you don't mean for attention. No. Not anymore. I used to. Years mm. ago I used to. I, and you think I do that now? Yes. No. So, okay. <laughs> I, okay. I don't, okay. I swear. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, Cuz when I came for you I, I was angry. You. I I believe yeah. you were angry but like <laughs> For example, how is it that your life is so dramatic? It just is. It always has been. My life is dramatic. So so it's like every week there's a new uh, revelation in your life that you announce on your kitchen floor. That, and then you stir up a lot of uh, conversation about it. But it's like clockwork. It's I mean, not. it's just a little too... Uh, I, I haven't had any dramas this year except for you guys. Trans, the trans thing. Is that drama? My gender is drama. Like, that's just who I am. I don't think that's... It's that's I, a little bit of a drama. You what? Why? Because I don't look male. Is that... The, like I'm being so serious. Like, why would I go on? Like, my whole audience is LGBTQ, right? They all come. To my, why would I like try to offend them or mock them? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, okay. Let me just kill my career. Is that like that would make? You no didn't sense. kill your career. You uh, how would you kill your career? Your whole career is built on this kind of engine of, of uh, <laughs> of driving views. Yeah. But, okay. But, let's yeah. let's talk about this because I got a lot of emails from trans people who. Do you want to talk about this already? Should we just get into whatever it? you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm here for okay. you. I know you. I was gonna. I was gonna. Ease into it. <laughs> okay, well, we can ease it. We can talk about. But it. we're on it now. Okay. Well, let's right. let me. You called me worse than Donald Trump, and you said <laughs> Ela should leave me. Did you do you believe those things? I did at the time. Yes, I still think Ela's too good for you. Like looking at her now, you look like a model. Like in person, like I thought you're pretty on camera, but in person, you're like tall and thin and like gorgeous. And then I, Ethan's like mm -hmm. baby. Like I, here's the thing. Like, so what kind of man would be appropriate for Ela? Oh my goodness! I think like a like a Dennis Quaid type, or like uh like a even like a Zac Efron. Like I think like that. If you like Jewish men, like, like Howard Stern, I think that would be more. You think Howard Stern is uh, appropriate for Ela? Because he has the personality, <laughs> so you don't go for looks, obviously. But like you must like personality, and Howard but Stern has the personality. He is more personality than me. You think Ethan? You have a be he has a better personality. You have a personality. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as good. It's so. not that. Because so when you so when you him. say I'm a troll, what do you mean? Because the way what I define troll as is someone. And I don't mean to be provocative, but I do think of you as a troll because I see that you are uh, at the center of a lot of dramas that drives views to your channel that I'm, I sometimes question if you do believe that, that. Or, for example, when you respond to my videos, I don't necessarily believe that you're as angry as you're or upset as you are leading on to believe in your videos. I wasn't as angry the last video I did. So I've done how many responses? I've done like three or four responses to you guys. The first one. I even did a really angry response, like a really nasty response to like our first beef in May or whatever. I was mm -hmm. pissed. But you know what? I was like, don't post it because I was already in so much shit on the internet. I'm like, just don't post it. I mm -hmm. was pissed. These last couple times, I kind of just like responded because I was the thumbnail on clickbait, which I was so excited about. I mean, that's I'm what about I thought. It. But but to see, you don't 
You don't say <laughs> that in the video. You, were, you what the vi- angle of your video is uh, H3, H3 is slut shaming me. No, I say I'm a fan. I said I was a fan in the yeah. video, and you're like, she's not. And I'm like, I am. <laughs> I watch. I watch. I you're not watch. really, though. I do watch. You didn't know about the Gatsby. <laughs> you didn't know about, but you asked me why the what's why do we have a mobility scooter? Well, I saw you coming on the scooter when you got your citizenship. Like I, I see okay. it. I just don't know what the 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 thing was. I don't want like an avid. Okay, yeah, I sure. Okay. You, okay, so but I watched uh, the Shane interview. So so what do you mean when you call me a troll? Because I don't think I'm a troll. Because you you say stuff for attention. That video, for instance, the one Instagram versus reality, mm-hmm. you did to be a troll. Like obviously the girls you were making fun of, Nikita, Tana, me, like were obviously not unattractive women. You were doing it to be a troll and calling Tana a beached whale. Quote beached oh, so whale. It was Tana. It was oh, Tana. I, think, I believe you I said her that. Twinkie. No, I that I said, but I believe what I, I never called anyone a beached whale. <laughs> I said. It looks like she just washed up out of the ocean. So were you saying she was a beautiful mermaid? No, you were saying she was a beached whale. Like she was. Well, or 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 a well, sure. Or I mean, (laughs) you said I looked like a corpse and like an open. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. (laughs) I I was sleeping. Yeah, that's what you do when you die. (laughs) It's basically. I wasn't dead. (laughs) Well, well, but but again. so you call what is so what does it mean when you call me a troll? I know you were trolling specifically too because if you were doing some like educational informational like you know let me like rally people up for this like get people behind my message you would have used pictures of me of the same day. I get what you were saying because I agree, which is why one of the side by sides you used I posted myself on Instagram me with makeup we mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. But the thing was you were taking like awful angles from different days. You're like that's not the same person. It was like it was makeup in different days. So like it was a troll. Like obviously you were trolling because you, you didn't. Did you believe that? Well, what I believed is that people can uh, look very different, present themselves on social media as one way, and then, you know, in and, and, and certain other situations, not look like that at all. And why is it that you think people really responded to... By the way, after getting to know you, I don't think you're guilty. You are very forthcoming with, like, the two different ways you can look. So, yeah. so I do give you credit for that, okay? Thank you. But I do think also, I don't... I just... I think- I think though that video had actually a really powerful message for me personally, and I have heard other people too. If you look on Instagram today, a lot of people will look a certain way, and you just take it for you just think that's what they actually look like. Right. And then one day when you showed me all this stuff, I realized, whoa! Like, wait, that's the, crazy. The message I was had great. no idea, and that's why I myself so, do side by side <coughs> all the time. The one of me looking yeah. like a corpse was my side by side. It was me in bed, like just from an awful angle, to sh- and then me from like Hawaii the week before. Because I love the message too. Because I'm always like, okay, I don't look like this all the time. You What's know what wrong I mean? with taking so it from I a different think, day? I think, what I, but I think where you lose something about our channel is that Ethan is also like just trying to make it silly and not just. This isn't just a serious message to show at your class, you know. Right. It's also supposed to be a funny video, and he's just goofing and. But cle- you like, a Twinkie. It's that doesn't make me it's a that's troll. Fat shaming, fat shaming. It's a that, stupid shaming joke. Is not cute. Like you can say, "Hey, this is the reality," and be funny about it. Use yourself as an example, which you do. You always mm-hmm. the most unflattering pictures. Of I yourself. think it's funny to say she, she, she. I mean, from that angle, she was really shoved into that bikini. You never call yourself a Twinkie or a fat piece of shit or anything. Oh, like that. I say way worse <laughs> things about <laughs> myself. Are you crazy? But I mean, you could have <laughs> said that in the video, and then it would have been funny. I cute. did you say that in the video. Women as a man, you can't come for women. I'm just saying. In one picture, she was super. I think probably photoshopped yeah, to look of course. Ext- of course. Okay, yeah. thank you. So that, that, and then in the, yeah. and then in the other <laughs> angle, she shocking. was shoved. Yeah. No, she, I agree. She it was, was sh- shoved <laughs> into a yellow bikini, and she looked like a Twinkie. It's funny. It's not funny. It's it fat shaming. Funny. That was my issue. What's, you can't fat shame. Why can't I fat shame? Because why can't I fat shame? One, you're a male, so you cannot fat. Like period. Like that's just like. So only women can fat shame. Can women fat shame men? No, no, no one should fat shame anyone. You can fat shame why, yourself. Why can, can I fat Can you skinny shame me? You can't, no, you can't skinny shame people either. Like, what that was, can I do? What can I joke about? <laughs> you can joke about things that are you. So, like, okay, let's Only, say, I can only talk about myself. Let, yeah, so, you, you're right. So, if you're- Excuse me? I, no, I fat shame him all the time. <laughs> well, it's different if you're married, <laughs> no, I but you're a, ch- you're a chubby guy, so you can make fun <laughs> of a chubby guy. I'm a chubby girl. I can make fun- I, I have a song called Fat Chicks. I can make fun of, like, fat girls because I'm a fat girl. You're a Jewish man. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> By the way, you can make fun of of Jews because you're Jewish. Not, I not, can't. Uh, Hasidic, like yeah, you you're called. I still think you are. You what do you mean? You <laughs> cannot <laughs> consider <laughs> yourself a fan and think that I'm a religious Hasidic Jew. You That's, are. You met in Israel. How you can't get more Hasidic than that. That's also, not what it also means. You, yes. <laughs> what do you think that Jewish. it means? That's a super Jew, right? Hasidic Jews are super. You're Jews. just you're Jewish shaming us right no, now. No, I love 
<laughs> well, and not like Hitler. Bro, who you said, said that, and you I was said like, you're obsessed I, with Jews, and that's made me nervous. I know. I got I got in trouble years ago because people think I fetishize Jewish people because I love Jewish men. Yeah, I but love I don't. Jewish you men. shouldn't say I'm obsessed with <laughs> Jews. Why? That's, that's weird. This is a Hasidic Jew. <laughs> I'm a shiksa. Okay. <laughs> this is what a Hasidic Jew is. Okay. Okay. You know, does that mean? It look. That's what a Hasidic so Jew Ju- looks like. You're Jew shaming me. They're, they're super no. orthodox. No. They're super religious. Why would you say oh. that about me? <laughs> <laughs> they all no. dress in black robes and black hats. I and just beers. know th- when I see the Ethan podcast. Ethan eats cheeseburgers. You can't do that. Really? You eat cheeseburgers? Yes. Of course. How do you? <laughs> but you're Jewish, but you don't identify as Jewish, or you do? I yes. Identify as Jewish. You can be Jewish, but you don't have to be Orthodox. Do you guys fast during no. the fasting holidays? No. <laughs> Oh, that's like not Jewish then. You guys are like not even Okay, Jewish. we're, no, we're, 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 we're like we're on the, the, we love. Okay. We're on the tan. Sorry, sorry. But I think I love Jewish I should, people. Okay. I get excited. Sorry. Thank you. You love I go to Israel all the time cuz I want to find a Jewish man but they don't they won't date me. Like any Jewish guy I like fuck they can't marry me. They tell me straight up the bat like I can't marry you. You're not Jewish. I'm like, oh, "Okay." I think they may just be <laughs> saying that as an excuse. No, Jewish people can't marry non-Jews. You have to convert. Uh um, Some people yeah, care they're, about they're, it. Some people don't care about it. Sorry. Are you saying they doesn't want to marry me? I think so. Sorry to break that to you. Because I don't believe American that. American Jews are very flexible. I don't think so. You always have to convert. Bro, Adam Sandler's wife converted. Very flexible. Mm. That's it debatable. depends on the person. So of all the Jewish but guys... I, I think that I should be able to say that Tana looks like a twink. You can't. You cannot. I did, and I support her right to do that. You but I feel like you, I did. I feel like you can loosen up. You just made a lot of assumptions about Jewish people, and I'm not offended. I, don't, I couldn't care. Ye- I couldn't care less. True. I, I think it's fine. A, if she wants to be that if I hot and look be, that good in a bikini... <laughs> She needs to work it out more. It was a more. genuine assumption, which I'm now educated for. So if you were trying to educate people... But do you want me to get offended now? Like, that's so annoying. No. Let's just all loosen up. No, it's, because it's, if I was making jokes, what if I started making jokes about Jewish people? Then go you, ahead. No, I don't Let's want hear what, to. What do you got? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not making jokes about Jews. You know what I mean? I'm not making jokes about... I was, like, genuinely questioning. So if you're genuinely questioning something, that's one thing. But you are, like, making jokes at someone. So if I was making jokes at Jewish people's expenses, if I was like, okay, you killed Jesus, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's fucking... That's not a, funny. That's just a statement. <laughs> well, it's There's offensive funny. to some. It I mean, depends how you say it. It's a, The way I said it now... Like, but it's not a joke. You just said something that's <laughs> offensive. Okay, I'm Me saying, saying she looks like a Twinkie is funny. Because she's not well, a Twinkie. How are you to decide what's funny? Maybe people think that's a hilarious joke. A lot of people joke, thought it was funny. Fact, I think but... it's up to oh, the audience. Oh, you think Anna looks like a Twinkie is a fact? No. Jewish people kill Jesus is a fact, is what I'm saying. But, that's debatable. But, it, no, it's a fact. But that's if... That's definitely hotly <laughs> debated. And I think that only people like Mel Gibson actually believe that. First of all, wait. No, it's not debated. <laughs> Jesus was a Jew. It's not like a bad thing. I'm not saying that. It's like The go, Jews killed Jesus? That's not... That's, that's like that's, propaganda. That's all that existed the Romans at the time. Killed, uh, the Roman government killed Jesus. I, mm, okay, well, I like to... Th- anyway. You like to think the Jews did. <laughs> I understand. I love Have Jewish you, uh, people. Are you a don't fan of Mel trouble. Gibson, by the way? No, no, I do not support that. I don't say any of those... Dry- like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't make Jewish jokes because I'm not Jewish. Just like you're not... If, if you were so the- if I was a fat chick, I could call Tana a Twinkie. You could more so because people would think it's funny because you're also that. She looks like a Twinkie. I would could say, but he, that. but he is. If he, if he but then like, it's because he's well, a like guy. you, I, I yes. identify. I don't yeah, know if you, I t- said this publicly, but I identify as a woman. <laughs> so that I am a. Fat okay, but see now you're see now you're offending the trans community. <laughs> Why? I'm serious. You're I not identif- serious. Why? <laughs> You've never said that until right now. Well, I'm coming out. I just decided for you to be news. on the show to come out. <laughs> I'm a fat. You're- I am a fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> You're so offensive. We're a lesbian couple, actually. <laughs> I'm a, we're, we're a lesbian couple, and I'll have you know that she, 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 she thinks my uh, uh, personality is charming. The only one. I never got to respond to that you know point, the... actually. Yeah. I think Ethan is the perfect match for me, and there couldn't be anyone better. Well, <laughs> I think that's good. Okay. <laughs> I do think you could do better. But if you're happy, then that's I, all that I matters. Disagree. Well, what is do better? Okay. That's why we're married. <laughs> well, I just, Thank I you. look at her and her personality, and I look at you and your personality, and I'm not judging, but I'm, like, judging, you know what I mean? I'm kind of like, oh, like, <laughs> I just picture you with some, like, With Zach Efron. You know, yeah, I don't find him attractive. Christian Grey type, someone who can dominate you and be a man, you know what I mean? Like, what? You what? Wait, you're making weird gender roles. <laughs> because you're now. not, no, it's not a gender role. Dominate you <laughs> as a woman? Yeah, because... Because what you are is not fully a man, right? You're coming for women on the internet. You come for I'm a fat <laughs> chick. I'm a fat not. chick. Yes. You can't come for Tess Holiday and be I like, am a f- no. Tess Holiday is a is Tess Holiday is a beached whale. 
<laughs> she is not. You can't say I'm that. I'm a fat chick. You're not a chick. You're a guy. You can't make fun of anyone that's not your race, what? not your religion, what? not okay. your size. So you say you're a man. You identify as a man. I do identify as a man. Why are you dressed as a female? It's like my character. It's my job. It's like it's like a drag queen. Like men dress as drag because I appreciate your art and drag. The aesthetic. You're a man in drag. That's how I look at it. It's like my job, right? Like my I I show my boobs for but a living. But you've always like, looked like that. Yeah, because I've always done that. I've been a stripper since I was 15 years old. Like but I've always done it. But don't you see that trans people have a hard time what, taking that what, seriously? Where do you feel like you're a man? Um, where? Always inside, like always in my heart. Like I've always been when I don't want the attention. Like when I go out and stuff like that. I've <laughs> always, I've always felt male from a very young age like it's not about like not wanting to play with barbies or wanting to only be with guys and stuff like that it's not like that at all it's more of just the energy i feel like i get uncomfortable when people like obviously it's my job so now i'm like oh yeah talk about my tits all you want but i've always been uncomfortable if people like talked about like me as a female refer to me as her like all that stuff like that it was always uncomfortable even as a kid i remember not wanting to go in like the girl's bathroom and there's no way to explain it or to describe it to someone who hasn't felt it like but i then, just why do you it seems that people who are trans have what's called gender dysmorphia. Dysphoria. And, dysphoria. Ugh, I'm such an asshole. Sorry. And um, and they attempt to okay. to uh, transition to the opposite gender because that's how they see themselves. Not Dys- all transgenders. That's just on the doctors. And gender is not sexuality. It's not sexual. It's not what you're assigned with at birth. That's not gender. Your gender isn't what's in your pants. Just because right. you have a penis doesn't mean you're a male. Right. There's right. gender and there's sex. But right? then you. Right. But that's you. The, the fact that you're yeah. a trans male it makes me think that you would want to. Identif- you would want to look more like a male. No. No. I like the aesthetic of a woman, but so I what, don't... So, so tell me what uh, uh, what makes a male? What is it that makes you male? Like, what does that mean? It's just, it's just your energy and how you feel inside. I've never been a woman. I've never thought of myself as a woman. I've who do you like? Who are you attracted to? Gay men, homosexual men. I've dated gay men. Gay a lot men. Of, yeah. And um, do you think, what, what would a gay man see in you? I've dated a gay man for a year and a half. But, like, so what does he get out of dating you? Because you don't, I it's mean, a, you look like a female and you don't have a penis, so presumably. It's just male. It's just the male energy. Like, you're attracted to a male energy. Just like I'm attracted to, I've been attracted to transgender male to female, transgender female to male. I'm attracted <coughs> to everything, but I haven't been with straight women. It's not that I'm not attracted to them. I just haven't been with straight women. Really and so women. when you have, when you have uh, relations with a gay man, what yeah. does that look like? Um, it kind of depends. I've had a few relationships and it kind of just depends. A lot of like it can be it can be pegging for sure, but also like we've had like vaginal when you sex. Say, when you say pegging, <laughs> that means you're strapping on and then going uh, into the ass. It could be a strap on or it could be anything. What like what else? Anything. Just Any anything. phallic object that you've yeah. got around? I've I've shoved up like cucumbers up people's butts. I've had candlesticks shoved up mine. It's just whatever. Candlesticks. Yeah. Okay. The holder is not the actual. Stuff. You told me in the DMs when I asked you if you wanted a mukbang <laughs> that you've eaten, you've already mukbang rotten pussy, so you're done to eat anything. <laughs> Did is I that, say that? Yeah. When? And you sent that to a message to me. <laughs> to you? Yeah. Okay. When I'm on Twitter, sometimes I'm a little drunk by myself and alone, I so I think okay. I just kind of say things. Okay. Like when have I you mukbang <laughs> rotten pizza uh, pussy? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of eating out, but I will. What's rotten pussy? It's not washed. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not rotting, but it's just not a washed. It's fine. In some religions, people don't wash their vaginas. Like, they're not allowed to for until Saturdays or something like that. I I, I don't, don't want to offend Jews. anyone. It's not Jewish. It's, it's <laughs> another religion. It's not Jewish people. It's another religion of a girl that I know, and she uh, can't wash till Saturdays. And that's just her specific religion. That's just yeah. her, I think. She just... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. She told me it was her religion. I'm not educated enough on religions to know this. So before we move off the trans thing, I do. I got an email from a fan who is identifies as a trans. Okay. And I want to read some comments that they uh, offered. Okay. So here's here's the first part. Trisha mentions no feelings of gender dysphoria, which is the medical condition that identifies someone who is transgender. If she were to go to a gender identity therapist and ask to medically transition, she would most likely be denied because she has no gender dysphoria. Right. Well, I wouldn't say I don't have dysphoria. I hate having a vagina for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, But as far as like getting a dick, I mean, a clit is an inverted dick, basically. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, we, I have a penis just like you. It's just little. I have a video from 2015 called like, I have a one inch penis. Like I've always identified as having a penis. I do. A clit is a penis. So that's, I feel like that's man enough. I don't need to have my full eight inches or whatever. Uh, So I think it, I mean, I have a penis. Okay, so then she goes on to say, she also mentions a weird fixation with gay men. 
In the past, she has been obsessed with gay men, which many find weird. This doesn't make her transgender either. It just means she is fetishizing homosexuals like a weirdo. No, I'm dating men who are into men. Like, but you're, but so, I how? But she's right. How is that not just fet, having a weird uh, obsession with gay men? What does that have to do with being trans? Because I am a male. Like, I guess if I was a female that like identified as female and was like, yeah, this is my pussy, and don't fuck me in the ass and all this shit like that. Like, yeah, but my stimulation comes from. The P spot, not my, it's not a G spot. So you're a trans male, but you're also, so you're a trans homosexual male. Yes. But I'm into, I've dated straight guys. I've dated gay women. I've dated transgender women. I've dated transgender men. I, you know, I've, I've, I've done it all. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not, I've never dated straight females. And I think they're more, not, I wouldn't say judgmental. It's fine if you're not into what I am, but um, they, a lot of straight females want penetration from an actual elongated penis mine's mm. just tucked in mm. yeah i can see that being an issue although there, i see that okay let's not get semantical okay. she goes on <laughs> to say her explanation of being transgender is wildly incorrect mm. and she should not be considered a representative of the transgender community at all uh, she continues okay it hurts me to see trisha talking about choosing your gender when you cannot in fact choose it Right. Your gender is with you since birth. It cannot be switched or changed. The reason transgender people are transgender is because their gender doesn't match their sex. If I could change my gender to female to match my female sex organs, I would do it in a heartbeat because I would no longer have gender dysphoria. Right. Well, one, first and foremost, I don't want to be a transgender representative <coughs> at all. Cause, and that's why that was my issue with going on anything talking about it because that's not – even doing that video. The reason I did that video is because I met someone at one of my shows in Toronto who was male to female and he looked – like a boy. He had he didn't wear skirts, he didn't wear makeup, nothing. Because he well, one, he couldn't afford it, but he's like, I can't afford to even wear a denim skirt, but I'm still a female. And I was like, that's so weird because that's exactly how I felt too. So I shared my story just thinking, like, oh, I'm just gonna cause everyone comes to my show is like, you help me, you help me. So I'm like, I'm gonna just share my story. And that email, I respect it hundred percent. I get what that person's saying. I totally get it. I'm not trying to like convince anyone. But on the flip side of that, I've gotten so many messages of like, I feel the exact same way of male to female, female to male who are like haven't fully transitioned, but they feel female. Because when I was just on the doctors, like I said, the doctor on the show said like when you're in the womb, there's all these chromosomes actually like floating around. Like, in fact, you could be male, like it could hit you, like it could be male and you come out genetically female. So you are a... But you don't care about looking like a male. Um, I don't... No, I don't care about it. I think maybe later on in life. Right now, this is kind of my thing. It's how I make money. It's like... So for me, I don't care about looking like a male. I like the aesthetic of a woman. Like, I've always thought that. Even, like, naked. If I go to a strip club, I'd rather see a female stripper than, like, a male stripper. I just like the aesthetic. But if I want to fuck someone, I'm, it's usually, like, I want to be either, like, fucked in the ass or, like, with a male. Like, but I will, I will totally like be with females too. That's what I'm saying. You Gender and sexuality to, are not. You prefer canon. to be fucked in the ass. As of lately, hmm. I was always scared of it because I thought it was, I thought it was like a, a gay thing to do. You know what I mean? And then like lately I realized. That's, that's what you are. That's where I get. Yeah. That's where I get the stimulation. And I just recently found out that I was like, oh, I actually get more stimulated through anal. Interesting. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know how to say it PG. Us? I don't know. If, I, I don't what want to get demonetized. I, well, it seems completely unrelated to the... To the gay thing? Yeah, right. But there's, I, I just wonder what's the point of all these labels because it's like, if I can get this straight, you're a... Tr you're, so you identify as a man, you're, you're a, a drag queen, so that means you can dress <laughs> like a female, but you're also a gay man, which means you can have sex with dudes. Right. But th it, it seems like in a weird roundabout way, you're just trying to justify it that, you're a fem that you are actually a female. To justify it? No. Or I'm just not. to explain how you have sex with guys and you look like it a sounds female. Sounds to me like you're just a female with a strong personality. It's hard to explain. No, I just, I don't like being <coughs> even referred to as like female, but I get that's what I look like and I get that's what my thing has been it's hard, online. I guess it's hard, it's hard to uh, understand. It's a very right. new uh, territory we're on. I, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable with being a female. So should we really me. say he? Uh, should I refer to you as the... Uh, my guest is uh, he, he. He is a YouTuber. That's 
it's fine. I think for me, it's like. But isn't that confusing to the audience? They're like, wait, what? I think of it like this. Right? You when, look like a. When Courtney Cox got married to Dave Arquette, she was Courtney Cox Arquette, right? So you could like you could switch it. But a lot of people when they get married, they keep their name. You know, they don't get they don't change their name. Jennifer Aniston was never Jennifer Pitt. She's Jennifer Aniston because that's what she's known as. So for me, I was been known as she all this time for mm-hmm. 13 years on YouTube, and I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, to change it now, be like, actually call me him. Mm-hmm. That's totally fine if people prefer that. But like for me, it's not to me. That's not a big deal. Like you said, I don't. I don't think labels is a big deal. And even my coming out wasn't a big deal because me being a male shouldn't be a big deal. I'm still the same <laughs> well, person. It is a big deal, though. But it's why? Too, for a lot of people, it is a big deal because they, unlike you, are uncomfortable with the way they look. So if if it was me, for example, I would want to look like male. Right. And to make that transition is very hard. And you get yes. a lot of judgment. So you are lucky that you're okay with your looks, but they are not. And then for you to come out and say, I'm transgender... It kind of like cheapens their struggle. But why? Because it's my, it's me. It's I'm not talking about anyone else. This is my story and my journey and my because struggle that I've had my whole life, and it's awful to live as a you, male like you this. You don't have a problem with being referred to as she, right? And you don't have a problem with how you look. So you don't really I do. have. I have, I have, a, I have very many issues. I've had many, many. I mean, surgeries. no, as female, with the, with as the female. Uh, gender. I, I do. And we're talking, I do. Because you, you said that you're okay with your look. You you don't care about looking like. I'm men. not okay with it. I'm not. I'm not ready to change because this is how I make money. Like my, I do, I get made fun of all the time. You've seen. You you talked about it. My tits, my vagina. Everyone roasts me in Twitter. Like it's one of those things. I'm not okay with it, but it's how I make money. So I put it out. It doesn't feel good to hear that about my vagina and how my tits and shit being fucked up. It is. Well, it's that's fucked up. Different. That's no, but I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not thing. saying if you're happy right. with your look. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I've not changed saying my look. That. I'm not saying that though that's different i don't like how i look that's different okay i'm talking about you being okay with looking like a female but versus I'm not... wanting to look like a male that's not what i'm saying though like my job youtube patreon all that stuff is me looking like a female do i love it no do i want to look like a male no i don't know i don't know what that what that entails in the future so to... for most transgender people it's a lot more crucial um fight throughout their life Caitlin than this. W- Caitlin was 60 when she f- transitioned into the female aesthetic. So her whole life is she's invalid to be a female just because she looked like Bruce Jenner. Like it's not to say that is kind of ridiculous. Well, well, like I can transition whenever so I want. She if came, I'm 60 or, when she came out as can. trans, she, she also transitioned to female. At 60. So maybe at 60 I will. But you it's I'm just explaining to you why the that your the video that you made had such a backlash because But it's my story. I'm not saying hey if you're transgender like you should be uncomfortable like you know what I mean? I get it. There's a lot of transgender people who are not uncomfortable I with their they first just, body. There, I've, I've. It's that. almost like you're I just, mean, um, you're just kind of like taking the easy way out and kind of being transgender because it's cool. <laughs> it's definitely not because if anybody dates me, like let's say, let's say I'm a straight female and I only want to date guys, if they look up and see that I'm transgender. Do you know how many men are turned off by that? So many men even ask me to this day when I go out with them, like, you're sure you're not a man? Are you sure you weren't born a man? Like, that's so gross. There's so many trannies on Bumble. Like, that's just the reality of it. But you are you a mean man. that you weren't born with right. a penis? Yeah. Yeah, that I wasn't born with a penis is what oh. they're saying. Because they get, they're like, there's so many transgender. But they saw your vagina and they still ask you that? No, I'm saying beforehand, like when we're on dates, because my point is a lot of people are transphobic. Me coming out transgender is not going to help my dating life. It's not going to. Why would why would I put that on myself to hurt? I'm trying to date. I'm trying to get married. Why would I put that out there just so people can look up that I'm a transgender if I truly don't believe that for I don't you don't make money. YouTube does not monetize transgender videos like I'm not. So hold on. Let me put a pin in this. Let me me put a pin in this. It's been 30 minutes already. (laughs) We're going to go to a quick commercial break. (laughs) We're going to continue on. Hold that thought. We're going to pick up right where we left off after this quick, 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 quick commercial break. (laughs) Ring, the device that has changed security around the world. Ring's mission is to make the neighborhood safer. You might already know about their smart video doorbells and cameras that protect millions of people everywhere. Ring helps you stay connected to your home anywhere in the world. So if there's a package delivered or a surprise visitor, you'll get an alert and you'll be able to see, hear, and speak to them all from your phone. That's thanks to the HD video and two-way audio features on Ring devices. Now listen here. Around my home, I have 
ring spotlights. I have a ring doorbell. I have the whole ring of security, and it makes such a difference, you guys. I, f- I sleep so much more soundly knowing that if anyone approaches the house, I get a motion detection. If I see any shenanigans going on, I can blast them with the siren. I could yell at them. I could say, hey, get out of here. I'll just know before it happens. And here's the best part that I don't even think they mentioned in their copy. It gets saved to the cloud immediately. Mm-hmm. So no matter what happens, if you got some uh, slick willies from Home Alone, some slick, uh, what did they call themselves in Home Alone? Uh, the sl- the slimy bandits or whatever. trying Sticky to cut bandits. What? Sticky bandits are trying to cut your power or some shenanigans. It's going to be zipped up to the cloud before they even get to cut, clip the dang wire. You're impregnable! As a listener, you have a special offer on a Ring Starter Kit available right now. With a video doorbell and motion-activated floodlight cam, the Starter Kit has everything you need to build a ring of security around your home. Just go to ring.com slash h3. That's ring.com slash h3. Thank you to Ela for not only just being beautiful and talented and an excellent co-host, but also an incredible designer. The mother of Teddy Fresh, who just came out with a new collection. Yet again, another slam dunk. Look at this three-way panel. Primary colors. It's hot. It's fire. It's super hot fire. Now look at this Chanel embroidered pullover. Super hot fire. And purple, black. But you got Let me show you a close-up of the patch, because you really have to see it to see how cool it is. Um, bear with me. Look at that. It's Chanel like a teddy bear. Give me a break, bro. It's embroidered. The black one is really cool, too. I mean, the black one's amazing. Look at this. Go ahead and do me a favor and forget about it. (laughs) Now, you might think I'm going on and on about Teddy Fresh, but I need to give us time to run to the bathroom anyway. (laughs) Frankly, you don't have a choice. Uh, I need to do this, but uh, this is cool stuff. I think you'll be interested to watch this. So we've got the long sleeve shirts. These, this, this I'm excited about. You know, long sleeve color block. Why not? We we figured. Uh, People love long sleeves. I certainly do. And now we've got all your favorite color block colors in long sleeves. Ela Klein Original. Now this shirt, Ela's wearing it right now. This shirt is amazing. It's got a high density print. So uh, the outline of the sun and the text is a high density print. So it's kind of like a 3D print. It's very cool. Will you stand up and show kind of the all over print? You should move the Teddy Fresh thing because it's covering. Yeah, there you go. Me? Oh. Can I sleep yet? Um, Go ahead show the back so they could see it's like all over. Yeah, this is a technical master. This shirt was a collaboration between my husband and oh, I. Oh, thank you. It was Ethan's idea. Well, you you know, you, did, you took it all to fruition. You'd make it all happen. But um, I guess the concept was that I, want, I drew a sun and said, can I sleep yet? That was it. And Ela did everything else. But the, it, And then on the sleeve, Teddy Fresh by Ela Klein. This is the limited edition by Ela Klein t-shirt. It's insane. It's epic. You gotta love it. Um, you have to love it. Uh, we got the three-way panel. Now, this is the long-awaited Au Revoir shirt. And Spearmint, we're calling this one. And and uh, pink. And this is just some original art by a very talented artist we work with. And I couldn't be happier with the, with the design and the quality of the print. We captured, really, the essence of the high quality of artwork that we got on the shirt. Um, we've got uh, some new uh, Teddy Fresh uh, classic shirts, logo shirts, and pink and 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 uh, teal. We've got a corduroy backpack in three colors: black, red, and green. Crossbody bag, fanny pack, a wallet. Never before made a wallet before. It's all in corduroy, and it's all available right now at TeddyFresh.com. Welcome back. We are here with Trisha Paytas. We have we are in the process of, uh, I would say, roasting the beef. And let's continue. <laughs> no, I'm ready to squash it. I'm, well, I'm, hold on. We got to get. We're I'm barbecuing. Just, we're gonna yeah. work through this issue, and then we've got a pizza on the way. We're gonna mukbang. Okay. We're gonna dip the pizza in a ranch dressing, which is something I've done previously. And I want to ask you questions about mukbang because I frankly don't understand. Okay. okay. Let's get. Yeah. But let's continue on. You've stated your admiration for Andy Kaufman. Mm-hmm. Do you see yourself as a Kaufman-esque type of of actress, actor? Uh, I think it'd be like disrespectful to him to say that, but I I I would like to if I could emulate anyone, it'd be Andy Kaufman. 
because Andy Kaufman, uh, to quote something that you've said about him, is that you never know if it's the real Andy Kaufman or not. Mm -hmm. And you've said, I like to think that people never know if it's the real Trisha, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, so with bearing that in mind, how is it that how can we take you seriously when you say you're a trans male well, or like, anything else for that matter? You've just announced that you're getting married today. Yes. Uh, in oh, you video. kept up. That just <laughs> came out this morning. Damn. Yeah, okay. this morning. Um, but it's like, wow. Okay, so so well, how do happening. we not know that You'll... you're just the you know the the center of a uh, your own reality show? The thing is, is like with with Andy Kaufman too. Like, yeah, I mean, he would he would do stuff and troll people and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, he was also a real person. So when he announced he had cancer, no one believed him. But it's like it's not like he went out to prove to people like, hey, I've got cancer. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those things where it's like I put out my truths and I also put out me like for entertainment and stuff like that. Obviously, something like a serious issue like transgender and how it could like affect my life and like finding a husband or wife or whatever. Like, obviously, would be. To me, it's just so stupid that people think that would be a troll. I get it. I understand it. I totally get it. It's not like whatever. Um, but I, I mean, I, I can't just constantly be like, this is real. This is not like, you know, I mean, I do YouTube, you know, a lot of people will think your guys' relationship isn't real. You know what I mean? I don't even think you're actually married. People don't so. think that. We're actually siblings. That's what I. <laughs> people can, don't actually think. That. Low key. Can I, can I say, I feel like you're related in some way, but you guys don't know it. Have you ever done like 23 and me? Yes. We're yes. Not related. <laughs> There's literally no relation. Trust me. <laughs> I'm ninety. I'm like ninety nine percent European Jew, and Ela has like, n- she's like all African. She's like African Jew. Are you Arab? She's Arab. Oh, that's not African. Uh, where do you think the Middle East is? It's in Europe or it's in Asia. Actually, I'm wrong. Okay. No, but you're from Morocco, and you're from Morocco. That's <laughs> Libya and Turkey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> but you're, that's why not did the you same. quit YouTube? You, uh, People think you quit YouTube because it was. I'm an on YouTube channel. right now. No, I mean like an incest channel. That's what I've heard. That's what I've read, and like like, re- like on Reddit <laughs> posts and stuff like that. Okay. Is so, there any truth to that? Because you guys avoid scandal. Yes, Whenever you yes, have scandal, it's an incest you avoid channel. it. It's an incest show. H3H production is as everyone okay. channel for instance. Tell me what H3H3 H3 stands for. It's just our initials. That's not <laughs> every, everybody watching this knows that. Apparently, you say you're a fan. I question that. I just say you guys are you troll you troll as well. How do we know you're married? How do we know anything? How do we even no know one knows anything? anything? Yeah, no one knows anything. I don't think we should go down that route. <laughs> okay, Let me ask say. you this: Is it true that you've also identified as black chicken nugget and lesbian? Those were trolls. Well, not the lesbian one, but the obviously the. So how can you well, be both a le- how can you be a lesbian and a gay man? You can be a lesbian and a gay man. How? Well, at the time, like, okay, here's the thing. Both of the, all those videos were made. I was used to be really into drugs. I did a lot of like meth and stuff like that. So when I did those videos, I was high for sure. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't think I'm African American, but I made that video with sunglasses on for a reason. Obviously, I was a chicken like the chicken nugget era. That was that was my truth at the time. The chicken you were a chicken nugget. That was your truth at the time because okay. I was fucked up. Okay, I mean that was like special K shit. You know what I mean? Like that yeah, was like you were deep into, but in your mind you were goofing around. Uh, obviously, you did math. Did you think you were a chicken nugget? I did what? What did you say? Oh, that you I were just, on? She said special she was K in, at that time. Well, I was doing a lot of K, K, which is a lot of like that's like a ketamine, party. I think, right? Yeah, I was doing that, and I was well, it's a, it's a mix. And then I, I I tried meth for the first time this year when I when you did my videos when I had my that day you posted it was my birthday and when I ended up in like the hospital for a meth overdose. So that was when so I came I literally was coming down straight from the hospital like blood all over my face like wiped off and I saw the video and I was like I'm responding right now so in my head I feel I've been I haven't done drugs since May 8th but um I I drink but I don't do drugs but um and in my head at the time I thought I'm gonna respond this is like I was like pissed about it you know what I mean so same thing with chicken nuggets same thing with the black same with the lesbian at the time those were my truths in my head so okay but I was sober when I made the transgender video I'm sober now so okay, I've been I haven't done drugs since May. Eighth. <laughs> and um, since May, you're saying? May 8th, yeah, the day you guys made the well, video. Well, congrats. Actually. I mean, well, is that something that's ongoing in your life? What is, no, with the no, I I had a bad drug addiction from like 19 to like 22. Then I was clean for like five years, and then mm-hmm. I like just did it occasionally. But um, it, yeah, I'm not really that person. And then this year, I kind of got back on the wagon through somebody I know, and um. Yeah, but I, I did a lot of pills, like a lot of like pain pills and stuff for my my thing. Mm-hmm. So that's been my whole life is just pills, which I don't, I can't even take them. Like if I have surgery now, I don't even, like I just, uh, I tore my meniscus in September and I had like, I didn't take any pain pills for it. I was just like, oh, I don't want to do that. So I was definitely high and like fucked up and stuff when I did those videos. Well, I'm that's, glad you're sober now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel, I sense that you're in some way of trying to uh, put 
the responsibility on me for <laughs> your drug, the drug problem you had. No, 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 not, no, I was having, that but was. You kept saying I was, I smoked meth the day you made the video. It just happened to be the day you made the video. It was my birthday, and I didn't see the video until my birthday night. So that was May 8th, and I didn't see the video until May 9th is when I made the response video. So I didn't actually see it. Um, it, it, Yeah, it just just happened to be that day. I was doing meth a a bunch of times before that, uh, between the February 5th and, like, February 5th is when I went to the mental hospital. I was 5150 February 5th of this year. And then I went to the mental hospital, and then I still was using through February through May. And May 8th was the last day. And it, and if anything, I could accredit you to my sobriety because that's when I oh, stopped using thank drugs. Oh, you. That's so. what I like. To hear. All <laughs> right. We'll put right. a positive spin now on it. Positive spin on that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're sober. I mean, congratulations, May. Uh, so. Since May, that's a long time, and I'm very happy to hear that. It's nope, like over five so. months, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I I'm 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 very happy to hear that, and I hope you continue the sobriety. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Aww. Um, that's this is why the, I love Jewish men. They have like a sensitive side to them. At the end of the day, they're like assholes, but then this they're is like. Peop- the, okay, well, uh, it's just the Jewish uh, men. N- all Jews that I know are are total dudes. Do- <laughs> and they're assholes until they're <laughs> all sensitive. Dicks. No, you are. You are a dick, but then you're okay. Sensitive well, here I go back to being a dick. Isn't the tra- that everyone? No. No. <laughs> no, no, only Jewish men. Only Jewish men. I swear. <laughs> Who, by the way, she's obsessed with and doesn't know the difference between uh, uh, Hasidic. Hasids and uh, reformed <laughs> Jews. I get tricked a lot. My last boyfriend was only half Jewish. He told me he was a Jew. He kept saying, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew. And then he was half Jewish. I was like, you are was not Was he circumcised? Uh, without the skin. What is that? Is that yes. circumcised? Yeah, he was without the skin. And do you prefer that? Is that your preference? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I like a skin now. I used to be against it, but now That's I'm about to. That's because gay men like the skin. I love the skin. Yeah, it's more sensitivity. Okay, For thank them. you. We're glad we got that more. out of the way. Okay. The trans <laughs> video has over 3 million views. Mm-hmm. Many people are claiming that you do that uh, in part for YouTube revenue. Is that true? No, because YouTube doesn't monetize uh, like LGBTQ plus videos. Like if you talk about it, they don't put it, they don't put ads on it. Also, I demonetize any of my scandal videos. My my first H three, my response to you guys was demonet, or I I didn't monetize. It. I wasn't demonetized. I am monetized. All my vlog squad <coughs> videos, those are all not monetized. I showed it on Instagram. I'm so like, I don't monetize any. I of this. went to your channel yesterday, and that video gave me two pre mid rolls, two of them. Yeah, you no, but YouTube does that. I can, I literally can show you. I can screenshot it and show you. Like it'll say, like even on my demonetize or ones I did not monetize myself, like any ones I've made. Uh, YouTube will put their own ads on there, I guess. No. I don't know. No, I swear. I know how YouTube works. It doesn't work like I that. I can show you. I literally, I mean, I don't you have it on You are getting paid for that. I'm not, I, I can yes. show you. I haven't made, you, I can that, show you my analytics. I know YouTube. I That's wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not going to let you. <laughs> no. I, no, well, that's don't, a lie. The only it's not a way lie. It's not, it is. It's unless, not a lie. It, unless it's claimed by someone there else. There was no one, there's, there's nothing, no content. It was just yeah, her on nothing. her kitchen no, floor but, talking oh, to the camera. Perfect example is like my music videos, like Lizzie McGuire. Yes, they Those got are claimed. claimed. This video was not claimed. There's no third party content. I don't put ads. Even on my on the ones about the vlogs, I don't put ads. And I showed it. I literally showed it on my Instagram. Open your analytics. And show I me don't that have video. my computer. I literally don't have my computer. You have it on your phone. No, I don't. Yes, I'm you not do. Signed Every in. YouTuber has it on their phone. I, I, I swear. I <laughs> swear I don't. Has. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you. I do not have it on my phone. I'm scared of getting hacked. You should. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not buying this. I've been around. <laughs> I know the game. Been, you have ads on this video. I've Just been, acknowledge it. No, you I, have two mid rolls. They're not. I it's checked not last night. It I is. Showed. I don't know how to. I literally. I'll pull it up right now and get an ad. No, I believe you. I see it, but I swear it's not monetized. Like it's just not. I, like, my Adam and Eve ones are not monetized, but ads still go up there because it can't get it can't get monetized, and the ads still go up there. So I, I don't know what else to say. I would straight up tell you when I need stuff for money, I say it's for money. Like nope, you know what I mean. That you're making. I'm just saying you are definitely making money. You I are. Know I app. know how YouTube works. What's the app called? What's the app thing? Download YouTube Creator Studio. But then I have you to don't. Password. No, you don't. It uses your YouTube credentials. My YouTube credentials. Yes. Just on my phone. On your phone. Oh my goodness, so much. Okay, what's it called? YouTube Creator Studio. (laughs) Go ahead. I'm doing it. Oh my gosh. Creator. Like, I can even show you I don't even have this. Look, I don't even have it downloaded. Like, I told you I never had it downloaded. Go ahead, download it. It will go fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so no, you don't have to show your face. So no, I'm or, at, I don't know if you <laughs> face ID. So um, <laughs> if you are in fact making money on that video, does it change uh, any of the the claims that people? No, have to because here's the thing. Because if... you you were even on the doctors on television saying, "Oh, I don't even make money from that video." Yeah, but you do. I don't. I'm going 
to show you I don't. I make no money off AdSense. Why do you think I do Patreon and show my pussy? I make no well, money. Well, it supplements your income, obviously. But no. this video has two pre- uh, downloads. I am. <laughs> oh, my God. So aggressive. I got to turn down. <laughs> okay, it's now what do I do? It says get started. Okay. Log in. Okay. Yeah. There you're in. Okay. Now click that click your main channel. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're in. Oh so my gosh. now okay. Now go to that video. How do I do? You do it. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to expose anything that's private, but it's here. all demonetized. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh where is it? Uh apology. And then it's coming up regarding my... I am transgender. Three million views. Green icon. Monetized. And I'm going to tell you exactly how much money no, she made. Me. She made $8,000 from that video. Wait, you have to cut that because YouTube will literally no, take away my monetization. You can't say how much you bullshit. made. That's also a uh, urban legend. Really? Yeah. Okay. For you the made $8,000 from that video? That's crazy CPM. For the record. For the you record. Didn't know? I didn't know. No, I swear. Really? Why would I... I swear on my life. On, okay, I love Jesus. Okay, so now that you've made eight thousand dollars from this video, how do you feel? I mean, it's fine. I, if I was, if I, like, can I show you my other ones? That are, I literally don't monetize it. Like everyone's. Like, I don't I care about your it. other videos. I just care about this one. Okay. You went on television and said it's demonetized. Because it was. Like honestly, like okay, look, all these. Well, see, it's saying demonetized, but even like the David Dobrik ones. Like I, I wouldn't show that on the because uh, the camera can see. Show what? I'll come around and look, but I don't want the camera to see your analytics. <laughs> Oh, well, this is just, do you see what I'm saying? Like, I marked it myself as not monetized, but now it's showing up the yellow thing like that. But the thing is, is, like, I don't monetize these. So if there's an ad, if there's an ad on these, look, here's the thing. I don't mind it. It's my job. I would say, like, okay, yeah, I mean, if I can make money but off you, my story. It's my okay, story. But yeah, I agree with that. But you've been going around saying to your, in your defense and on yeah. television, too, that I don't make money from this. I swear on my so life. So why would I do it? So I just think that it kind of undermines that whole argument that you're doing this out of the just to tell your story. But clearly, you you made eight thousand bucks from it. Yeah, but I, are you sure I'm not going to get you on it? Like yes, my channel yes, yes. won't. I talk about. I, I promise. How you much it's money do you make a month on H H three? Not the podcast with the video. Your main channel. Uh. Say it so I don't get demonetized too. How much do you uh -huh. make? I don't want to say it publicly, but I'll, t I'll say it. I'll well, I, I prom that's an no, urban legend. I've know, asked I people. I, you're not going to get demonetized. Trust you're me. You're going to take I know whole everything. channel now. No, away. you're not. I s promise. Tell me how much you made on the video, like your last video. Tell me how much you made right now. $2,000. Look it up. Can I see it? I showed you mine. Let me see yours. It's only fair. No, it, I, it is I, fair. It's not fair. She <laughs> That's said. That's not fair. So you're going to expose my, she which I'm said, exposing how much I made, but I don't I want to never take it said away. that I wasn't making money from it. You were. Yeah, but to and prove I said, to me that you, you got ads, and so you opened that. Fine. That's fine, but you're saying it's an urban prove, legend. Yes. That, like, if you talk about my money, so yes. let me talk about your money. So that way, let me see on the last podcast how much you made. You don't have to, let me just see it and share, and share it out loud. Pull it up. That's only fair. Well, we no, we do have a YouTube contact <laughs> you have if to, you, you want. You have to edit yeah. that out then because no, it really I is. don't. I know I'm not editing it out. No, that's bullshit. You're not gonna get demonetized. I guarantee no, it. People that's an urban legend. Away if you talk about it. 100%. No, they we don't. Have, no, it's have never have happened. Contact. I've asked them about it. Yeah, it's an urban it's legend. Not, it's not. Are you nervous? Are you just nervous? It is part of my income. Are you just nervous because I showed that you made money from that video? You can show it. That's fine. Edit out like how much I made. Just like say that. That's fine. You can say she made a lot of money if you can just edit out the the because they will they do I know what happens it doesn't I it know it happened to someone and okay. I know that has an I ASMR have channel. the VP of YouTube on my text I'll text him and ask and if he responds it okay. says it's fine text him. okay I will I don't care you can expose me all you want about that like I don't give a fuck <laughs> about that but go ahead no you I promise you it, 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 there's nothing about I've read the terms of service I've asked to my partners because people have always thought that from the beginning of time from the very early stages of YouTube. I know and someone I, that happened to. They talked about how much no, money they made. I, I know promise it. you're not gonna get in trouble. I swear to God it's not the terms of oh service God. to talk about how much money I you literally made. came out here now my whole channel's demonetized. Look at you, no, you it's dude not. there's no. there's tons of YouTubers who go that show their analytics and their channels are I did I just screamed it out. It's not even necessarily true. It is true by the way. It was eight thousand. But if you go on YouTube and look at YouTubers showing their analytics, their channels are up. Oh my god! If my whole channel gets demonetized, I'm Talk literally suing. Yeah, you can I sue me. I sign nothing. You can, you can sue me. <laughs> I sign nothing to be on this podcast. Well, uh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, you can sue me if your channel gets demonetized. Okay. <laughs> so I have, so I can sue you for my income for the next. You won't like, have 10 to years. sue me. I'll give you money. You, I feel like you don't have any money. 
Um, really? Like when you sue people, like you can't sue people who have no money because then they don't pay. You think pay. I'm broke? Yeah. Cool. I'm broke. I mean, it's fine. I don't judge. There's no judgment. <laughs> I, I don't judge it. I'm just saying I can't sue people that have no money because then they don't pay you. I've done it. I tried to do it before. I guess you're know? fucked then. <sighs> can I show... Here. Can I show my earnings in a video? He'll be like, Not yeah. show. Can you tell how much you made on a video? Well, I'm being we even, even more even extreme. Show. I'm being even more extreme. How do you have the contact of the because VP I'm YouTube? Fuck, because I'm connected. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my, that's I mean that's impressive. I have to say, if you have, if you really do, I don't have any VP. contact at YouTube. Period. Yeah, <laughs> my YouTube watch shit. Like literally, I, I promise you, I would, I would not jeopardize. I promise you, I'm, I've done this myself. Uh, I, I've looked into this. I'm like, okay. I'm obsessed with I, all these details. I promise you, you're fine. But I sense that it's. I don't know if you're worried about that. I no thought or that. No, I don't like. That's fine. Like. Or that my... you're actually worried about your channel being demonetized. No, I'm actually worried about my channel because, like, that's my. It's like, I just don't want to get demonetized. I've worked on it for 13 years. Yeah, I don't no, want to like have it. I understand. No, and by the way, stuff, I don't give a fuck. I, just, I truly didn't I just know. So I was like, whatever. I just looked at your phone and shouted it out. Like, how could they hold that against you? Because I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter because they could like verify that that's how much it was. It doesn't matter because on my like I don't give a fuck. Like I truly thought it was. I wouldn't bring it up and be like, let me show you. Yeah, if I, I actually agree. Thought, you know what I, I mean? Agree. Like if yeah. I thought it was actually monetized, yeah, let me just show. Like I didn't know, so that's why I was like, I'll show you. But sure. that's pretty good. I mean, good job. That's good revenue. Okay, that's I'll good. take it. That's I mean, if someone fair. offered me to like write a book, okay, sure, I'll write a book. On, you know what I mean? I don't like. Of yeah, course, I'm not. Jake the cheddar cheese. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of like needing oh, yeah. money or like making good. money. Excellent. Um, so good. We got past that. Let's see. Is the pizza here Dan <laughs> now we're gonna eat after that let's just do a mushroom well, do, you, second. do you want do you have anything you want to say to me after all this we've, <laughs> we've talked about the trans how do you feel has your opinion about me or Ela changed at all during this conversation um yes tell me <laughs> no oh okay good <laughs> So I'll do a video about it. Uh-oh. And uh, okay, good. Look, the important. drama Ethan continues. Is just the worst. I just say that you're kind of just the worst. I think Eli. Oh you, wait, hold on. So you hated me. <laughs> you came in liking me more, but now you hate me again. Yeah, because I saw you guys when I first came in, and I wasn't even expecting you guys to like greet me. I thought, oh, well, it's like they always do this, like Logan Paul and stuff. They just have you like jump in. They don't really talk to you. Beforehand, I don't like that. Which is fine. I don't care. Well, I get it. Like keep it, for, save it for the podcast. Whatever. No, that's stupid. But um, no, I thought, oh, you're really nice and sweet. Yes, we are. Don't don't loop her in with you because you're not like I'm. I said we are you. nice and sweet. You are. What you, did no, I? You are. What I have I? Know. So what have I done exactly uh, that wasn't I just, nice I and sweet? I can tell now that I'm like in person with you. I can 100 percent say you are the worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> like the worst. Honestly. Okay. okay. You called me nasty. You talk about my clip, but see now that I'm in person, you haven't said any of that, <coughs> which well, is a troll, which is fine. But also, you're kind of just the worst. Okay, what do you mean by is the worst? Is it because of like how he called you out on the? That's fine. No, that's fine. So you, I called you nasty. When did I call you nasty? Let's talk about it. On the la- I don't know. One of the videos. Oh, because you did. oh, because uh. Oh, because yeah, I you... tweeted my clip, even though you talked about it for thirty yes, minutes on that's, your previous I do show. think that's nasty that you tweeted me a picture of your genitals. So you can talk about my genitals for thirty minutes. I didn't on show your... it. I'm making jokes about it. But you can't make jokes about something. That's what I'm. Yes, saying. I can. Make... No, you can't. You can't. I did. About... Okay, fine. If you're gonna make jokes about my clip, then I can show you my clip because you're talking about it for thirty minutes on a podcast. You very... can. You did. And I thought it was gross. You said nasty. So now I I'm thought gross. it was nasty. I also said gross. That well, then you're just the worst. You can't talk about a woman's clit and then be like, "Oh, it's nasty." You can't put your clit out on the internet and not expect people to call it nasty. No, yeah. If you're talking about my clit for that long, I'm going to show you what you're talking about. Otherwise, you're just ignorant talking about my clit. You're talking that I had a ten inch clit. It's not ten inches. Okay. Well, I thought it was funny. Does that help? That you tweeted it to me. That's why I'm saying you're the worst because you think you use it all by it's I'm a comedian, but no, not. not what I said. I thought what you tweeted to me that you tweeted me your clip was was funny. I thought you were being fu- you made a funny no. you did a dumb funny thing. No, I was showing you what you were talking about. But you can't just go under it was a joke. Like you can't just use that guys because you can't just use that. You can't just say nasty things to people and be like it's a joke. What if I thought it was gross? The picture. That's not what I. <laughs> that's not my issue. You're talking about my clip for thirty minutes on the thing, and then I do calling me nasty is whatever. Do you fine. not think the image of a ten inch and gorgeous clit is funny? Because I thought I ch- we all had a. Good but chuckle. you're talking about mine specifically. Oh, I don't know what your clit looks like. I've never well, seen it. Well, now you do. So okay, you give so, me a retraction. So your clit is not a ten inch and gorgeous clit. Yes. But it is gross. If that's your opinion. It is my opinion. Okay, I thought it was nasty go, as well. Which is why I'm transgender, which is why I'm a male, because pe- I've known my clit was gross my whole life. So there you go. Full circle. I mean, not everybody. I mean, clearly you have supporters on there. 
on your on the website that you promote on Twitter. What website? The one that you're always promoting. Oh, trishyland.com. Yeah. Trishyland.com, 18 plus, private Snapchat, videos. <laughs> we'll blur that. <laughs> because I don't think that we can promote that on this if family friendly show. If you blur my Trishy Land and not <laughs> edit, you don't get it. I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> Trishyland.com, Patreon, look me up, be a member. Trishyland.com, you can see my engorged clicks. Mm, no, no, no! <laughs> Keep it in. If you edit that and not the other thing, <laughs> just do that. I'll leave it in. But I will say that um, <coughs> I, my clip. I don't think I'm the worst. You're kind of the worst, but that's okay. Uh, what if I think you're the worst? That's okay. You a lot of people too. think you're the worst. Who? Just you. People love me. Bro, you, ha- you had like a 90% downvote on the trans video. That doesn't mean anything. It me- It sure does. What's it mean? I mean, it means that you had a largely negative reaction on the video. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm the worst. Well, being the worst is kind of an abstract concept, but I think, I mean, it's a it's a personal belief that I think the people who smashed the dislike button thought you were the worst. I don't think so. I disagree. We'll have to take a poll. Take a poll. Ela, do you think I'm the worst? Tell me the truth. You can be honest. I don't think you're the worst, to be honest. You just said that. What the fuck? You literally just said you're the. I think you're. I the don't worst. think. Well, who's the worst? Like, if we have a scale of the worst, like let's say Adolf Hitler's the worst. Do you think I'm as bad as Adolf Hitler? Well, you haven't killed people. I don't think so. No. Okay. Do you thank still you. think he's worse than Donald Trump? Yes. Really? Percent. You're more damaging <laughs> to women than Donald Trump. <laughs> really? You're just damaging to women. That's what I don't oh, like about you. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You are. You're damaging to women. That's it. You give, like, that message was awful. Not to Hila. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> it pushes me to do better. Thank you. If though. you can believe I'll that. I'll keep my opinion. I feel like you can't it. believe that. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> He's a well, great dad to our son. Oh, thank you, Hila. You can I believe that. that. I, I'll, uh, I'll stay silent. Our it's two, fine. No, you can do whatever you want. Oh, I thank you. You, you you're, come on. You're laying it on too heavy. Oh my god, <laughs> you're the worst. You're just awful. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I mean, you're not worse fine. than Hitler, but alive, you're the worst. Like the worst living person. <laughs> yes. Hitler's passed away, so we exclude him. Yeah. So of people who are alive, Charles Manson's still alive. I believe. Nope, he's dead. Oh, he is. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is alive that's bad? Okay, don't compare yourself to killers. I'm talking about as a human being that hasn't killed somebody. Okay, so we're exc- what about, like, uh, sexual predators? Okay. <laughs> okay, you're talking about people who are, like, evil. I just think you're the worst human being. Weinstein. Mind. What about Weinstein? Uh, Louis C.K.? I don't... I'm a, I'm a fan of Louis C.K. So I'm worse than him. Yeah. Okay. yeah you don't have a problem with what he did to women? Uh, what did he do? Oh, he know. like jerked off in front of women and stood in front of the door so they couldn't escape. And they weren't about it. No. I kind of like when guys jerk. I like a role okay. play. I don't know the situation, so I'm not speaking it on this one. It wasn't a role play. Are no, you there? no. He was. He would go into a room and be like, "Hey, can I jerk off in front of you?" And then he would just whip it out and start jerking. Mm, but okay, I'm not defending him. I'm not gonna try and defend him. I'm just saying, like, when I was like, "Is the pizza here?" When I fucked up with people, if I was like sleeping, I'd be like, "You can fuck no, me when yet. I'm sleeping." Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but you gave him. Okay. Well, regardless, Sometimes let's you can um, give permission ahead of time. But I don't know the situation, so I'm not defending him. Yeah, it's fine. So let's talk about that. That pizza is taking a long time, man. I, I agree. Domino's fucked up. Who is that? Oh, that's, that's Dan. Dan. I want. No, I want. Dan. I want to talk to you about Dan because you fuck uh, all of them too. Okay, they're the worst. <laughs> Ethan, you're fine. Actually, your people are even worse than you because when you ask them to rate me, mm-hmm. first of all, that alone is why you're harmful to women. Asking like guys to rate me, right? Sure. Like, because if I was just a, a completely disgusting human being, if I was actually an unattractive, like mm-hmm. not good looking person, you would never ask that to them. You wouldn't be like rate this ugly bitch. So I obviously. Disagree. You would ask someone to rate. I would. I don't. I don't see your point that you wouldn't rate someone that you thought. Well, was I'm just a, saying. I'm so saying you're saying he lied that he's more attracted to you than. What no, you no, I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm just saying like don't be a fucking pussy if you're gonna rate me. Which and the other people are like, no, no, we're not gonna like whatever. You were pushing him to do it. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like he wouldn't. The other guys were like, no, we can't. Zach rate her. and Ian says they never rated you, but Dan gave you a three, I believe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The other two never did, but you were like pushing. You're like rate her and blah blah blah, and it's like you shouldn't do that to women. That's my I point see. of all okay, this. Fair enough, but I do think okay, you're you're right. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. Thank you. That being said, you did say you had beef with Dan and he is here now. Do you have anything you want to say to him? Hold on, Dan's getting the pizza. Okay. <laughs> Good. 
Back up. We should bring Dan in here. We should confront Dan. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> I, I do think that there's a double standard though, because women, I think, when you get in a, cer- a sewing circle with women, they'll they'll talk shop about guys. No, all but day men long. too, like women or men. You know what I mean? Like, well, I see what you're saying, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, but not on podcasts. I'm not going on a podcast and be like, let me rate you. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I do it back to you because you do it to me. But I mean, that's more of like, how do you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Then as revenge. As I'd be like, serious. You already said the worst. So. No, well, I think you're thinks, the worst human. Yeah, but uh, on a, a scale of attraction. Ten. <laughs> no, you don't. Thousand percent. You're 100 percent my type. I can't say it in front of you. I know you're my ugh. type, but I can't say ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you're my <Wait>. type. <laughs> That's who I go for. A ten. Mm-hmm. That's confusing. Yeah, I'm confused by that. Yeah. I've never been rated a ten, Ela. You're a ten. What would you rate him? But you wanted me to. Ela doesn't him. give me a ten. Yeah, I think you're better you, than would him, you, not would, me. Would you? <laughs> I deserve you. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, you're so much. So better. let me ask you're you this: If Ela, if Ela took your advice and moved on, would you make a move on me? Yes. Oh God. So is Ela. that what you were trying to do the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to break. No, no, I truly do think you deserve better. I didn't know. But if I'm a ten, what's better than ten? That's a hundred percent. For the record, I did not know you were actually had a kid. I thought that was a troll, to be honest. So I'm sorry. Everything I is a troll. I know. I literally thought that was like a. We kid. literally <laughs> have a child that's half me and okay, half I her. I didn't DNA. know that. A so newborn I baby. Why would we lie about having a baby? There's pictures. You guys are you guys are tricks. I'm not a liar. I'm not a trickster. And I'm not, not a troll. <laughs> You know, they say, you know, there's a great quote that may resonate with you. They say, we see the world not as it is, but as we are. Do you know what I'm saying? No. You see me as a troll and a trickster and nothing's true. Right. You see me as that way because you see through your own lens. You yourself are only seeing your own kind of shadow being cast on the world. That's not true. I don't think that about anyone but you. Guys, both of you. I don't think anyone else thinks that about us. I think so. Look at Reddit. Like, imagine (laughs) being... I do all the time. They're Ima- literally <laughs> saying you're siblings. Like, that's it's a conspiracy. joke. No. Imagine. <laughs> you literally are. Imagine being <laughs> so, uh, being so, like, uh, what's the word? Being so <laughs> apprehensive and so distrustful that you'd think we would fake having a child together. Yeah, because you guys, that video obviously couldn't have been real. The video you did about me, there's no way any of that was truthful or anything like that. There's no way. Like, I just think you guys troll everything. Like, the mobile scooter. Like, all that shit. I think that's all trolls. It's not a troll. It's a gag. It's it's a, a, it's a a, so I thought the baby a was an egg. I thought it was a goof. There was no way in hell I thought that you guys were having a baby. So you think I'm a 10? Yeah. thousand percent. What I'm about a... me is a 10? I'd like to know. Everything. Your face, your body, your voice. I have a tiny penis. Is that a problem? I love that. That makes it even hotter. I do love tiny penises. I love, like, shaming them. Oh, you... <laughs> oh. So you like doing, like, a body degradation... <laughs> Thing. Uh-huh. But what? it feels good too. I like little penises. If it's a, if I, I bet yours is probably five inches, and I love that's my favorite. Smaller. Smaller than five? I don't think. I so. probably couldn't even get it in. You're such a liar. <laughs> it's five. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. I'm so good with this stuff. So you're a fan <laughs> of the Howard Stern <laughs> show, right? Bring in the pizza, Stern. please. I'm hungry. Yes. And you have no problem with how they. Howard is very womanizing. Good, thank you. Very Sorry to cut you off. And, very uh, provocative. I'm still doing it. Oh, he's very, very hard language towards women. He, he asks a woman to write herself on the phone, and if she's a little overweight, he's like, "Ugh, you're fat." Yeah, that's like old Howard, which I totally agree. No, like, that's today. Yeah. No, no. Yeah? Here's the thing: because if he we listen to the show, <laughs> I listen all the time. I love Howard Stern, and here's the thing: like, it's bring different. in the pizza. Sorry. <laughs> I was yelling at Dan. It's different. It's different because also Howard's funny, so it's different. I'm not. Yeah. So you want a guy guy who's not funny? Yeah, I like not funny. Like I like guys who think they're funny, but they're not. I see. Well, you know that I have a large support of a fan base that thinks I'm funny. I don't know if they think you're funny. I think they think you're interesting. I think you're interesting. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I mean, I guess I'll take whatever it takes. But I do think that. I mean, generally speaking. Uh. Oh. Comedy. I mean, the Instagram versus reality. Again, you're see, you're trolling. You don't believe that. I, what? what? You see, you're casting your own shadow <laughs> what on the I world. Believe, what? What? I don't believe what? That people don't think I'm funny. No, I know. I read the comments because even like other people like, like. Dan, are you fucking with me? Where's the pizza? Oh, no, what? I thought uh, <laughs> someone said you were getting the pizza. The guy was lost. He'll be here in oh, two minutes. Uh, I okay. wouldn't do that to you. Mm. <sighs> All right, let's move. Let's move on. We're we're talking in circles here. I want to ask you que- uh, other questions. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what do we got here? You, uh, I'm, in, I'm interested a little bit. 
I think you're interesting as well. Oh. You're, I think I you're. the connection. No. There's, there's no chemistry. There's no chemistry. There's no connection. I feel it. There's not. I promise. Okay. You, you did, I did notice that in your videos when you talk about me, mm. she's winking at me and, uh, moving her shoulders in a way that, do you think that's appropriate in front of my wife? What are I you doing? Do not, I don't, know, I I'm don't not think it. it's appropriate. I'm not doing anything. Mm. He's literally lying right now. Now who's the liar now? You saw it. No. Anyways. I wouldn't fuck with Ela. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Um, uh, I do the think you're- here, by the way. Thank you. Bring it in quickly. <laughs> fast. And then, I do think you're an interesting person, so I want to ask you some questions. I want to get to know you a little bit about why you are who you are. Um, you came to L.A. Where'd you come to L.A. from? Uh, Illinois, but my dad lived in L.A., so I was back and forth a lot. And did you always want to be in show business, or, uh... Yeah. You did? Yeah, oh, I think thank so. God, Dan. I don't thank know. You. Dan, do you want to join us and uh, uh, talk with Chris? Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, bucket of ranch, couple <laughs> pies. Ugh, that literally looks like cum. <laughs> <laughs> for the record, I don't love ranch, but I'll do it for this show. As a gay man, I would expect you to uh, enjoy that. Oh, my God. That cum is different than ranch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> You did rate her a three, so let's not act like you didn't do anything. Exactly. Dan. Thank you. Um, um, so, you were, is it true that you were an escort at one point? Mm hmm. And so, tell me about that. I mean, when, at what point here, this is for you, this is for us, this is your bucket. I get the pizza by myself because I'm fat. Is that why? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can't. I mean, that was kind of funny. That was because of the timing of it. I think if you were funnier, I could accept. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, if I'm funnier, does my rating go down? Yeah, as like right. on a uh, connection level, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to work. For it, make <laughs> no, it I love that we're eating. Is this the first mukbang? Like, guess that mukbang? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's just talk about mukbang. <laughs> Let's not try to act like. I love escorting. Why is someone offering it to me? Because I'll do it. Not in this room. Okay. <laughs> no, I just saying in general. Do you know somebody? No. Okay. I'm past escorting. What's your rate? Um, I used to be cheap. Like, I think it was like eight hundred dollars a night or something like that. How much for just like? Like, what's the on the menu? Well, escorting is just companionship. You don't have to do anything. You can just hang out with someone, but, but you can choose to do more. Effective. You can choose to do more if you want to, but that's not what you're getting paid for. <laughs> Legally. I mm. see. I see what you're saying. Okay. You know I what I mean? You. Yeah, I know what so you mean. So, just $800 for a night, I'll hang out with you. You hear that, Zach? <laughs> $800 a night. How? Wait, what's your name, Zach? Yeah. Yes. What would you rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 of attractiveness? I have a girlfriend. No, just like, just Zach, bias. I have no, a boyfriend. Say it. She's getting married. I'm getting married. I am engaged married? too. So you can ask. Uh, go ahead. And Mike. Go ahead. Right now. Be honest. Be honest. Six? Six and a half. Wow. Oh. Wait. Being nice or are you serious? I, I <laughs> are you being nice? You're such a liar. I you know. You said five. <laughs> you kind of like. I know. I know you think I'm attractive because no asshole, like if you actually thought I was an ugly human being, like if you thought I was just the nastiest human on earth, you wouldn't even say anything if you truly thought that. I know you. I know guys like you. <laughs> I date guys like you that are like, you're just so ugly and disgusting. But you would never. You'd be like, are you being nice with a six? Like I know that. So I don't want to be rude. But... I would rather drag my dick through a field of glass. I love his jokes, don't you, Hila? <laughs> you see, it's funny. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's why you talk about my clit all the time and Belle Daphine and all those people. Well, you're low key perv. It's fine. It's okay. I date lots of pervs. Like, it's fine. My last boyfriend was a perv. It's fine. Zach, can I read what you just wrote? Yeah. You probably have good sex. Zach changed his rating. He said, You're a four. He said that because of you. You're the boss. And so he's like, okay, now I got to be on, like, Ethan's side because she's going to leave me. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let me ask you about Mookbang. <laughs> what is it? I don't... <laughs> hey, no canned laughter for her. <laughs> don't laugh at her jokes, uh, people. I have questions. For I her. love that we're on a three-way date right now. We're, like, eating and talking. <laughs> we're I know. like, we're... Polly. So, so how, what, how, how did you get into to Mookbang? What is Mookbang? I was the first Mookbanger. Look that up. Like, Were you really? Yeah. So is it like a Korean thing? Yeah. How, okay. So I saw it, yeah. I saw it on, on like Korean internet. Like you can go on like there's like the dark web for weird things like killing people, but then there's like a dark web for people who like have like eating fetishes and stuff like that. So I used to go on like and look for people who were eating and it was a whole thing in Korea. Why? Why do you want to watch people eating? I love watching people eat. Really? Mm -hmm. Cause I noticed when you're doing the mukbang, you and everybody, there's lots of licking and mm -hmm. sucking and smacking. Mm -hmm. Is that I've always thought it was like a fetish, but is it not? Yeah, it's a little bit. But I think it's more mainstream now because people like the 
talking and stuff with it. And but it is. It's like for me, it's a fetish. Like I like watching people eat. You like, get off mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. That's what I always suspected, but what I found in the comments was a lot of females who were just like, oh, I wish I could eat that. Yeah. I think that's become a thing now because people don't fetishize it. So fetishizing food is like eating it crazy and sloppy and messy. Like that's like a fetish version. Now people are just doing it like a normal meal. Like they're just eating. But which, they eat a lot. You can or you can't. Like I haven't been eating a lot lately in my mukbang. So I think people do it now to like, for some reason, for some people, it's like they don't get hungry because they're watching someone else eat. Mm. What is mukbang then? It's just eating in the camera? Essentially, it's supposed to be lots of food, but yeah, it's just eating of, a meal. It's a lot at once. Like no, so I. Uh, this is so good. Too. Are Are you into seafood mukbangs? Because I notice I don't. I, I find this to be just yeah. unbelievably horrid. Oh You've seen this video? <laughs> yeah. So hard. This is a uh, eating with Q. She's got a, a fifteen-pound mm. lobster claw, and she's just going mm. at it. This doesn't do it for me, but I get why people like it. Do you not like uh, seafood? I like seafood. I did one with Be Love's Life, oh who's a huge mukbanger. We did a seafood one together. Oh, you, you, you're friends with the legendary. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, we ate seafood together. I'm a mukbanger collab. Snack <laughs> Boy, shout out to all my mukbangers. Shout out to them, of course. How could we that, forget? Yeah, we love Snack um, Boy. Well, have you ever puked after a mukbang? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, just once. I'm not a puker by nature, but I puked one time. Just from overeating? I ate a squid. Oh. It was live. Did what? Whoa. Yeah, and where I never, was that? Was that filmed? I filmed it. I never uploaded it because I think you can get in trouble for uploading. Uh, eating you live ate animals. a lot. Yeah. Mm. Why did you eat it live? Well, it's a delicacy over in like I don't want to get this wrong either. Probably Japan or China. S- somewhere because I got it from overseas, and I don't think you're supposed to get animals. How big overseas. was it? No, definitely not. That's bad in every. So this was a long time. So I just never <laughs> uploaded it, and now I'm incriminating myself. But <laughs> I, yeah. how big was it? Like the size of this cup, maybe, but the tentacles, you know, were like hanging down like that. Oh. And so, where did you eat it first if it was alive? Like, where do you start? I didn't know it was alive. So, I think it's up on YouTube. There's some people who do this over wherever it's legal to do this. They eat the live squid. It like just moves. So, I don't know if it's yeah. necessarily alive or it just moves. Well, how did it arrive to you? In like a little like aquarium, like a little like fish bag thing. Really? Overseas in a fish bag? Well, you have to go pick it up at the airport. It's like getting a dog overseas. What? Yeah. How much what? Was it expensive? No, it was like maybe a couple thousand dollars. That's, That's pretty crazy. crazy. Is it? I guess I don't know. I mean, and you so so, uh, it didn't resist a lot. It just moved a little bit when you ate it. Yeah, and then but it it still was moving inside my stomach. And that's really? why you mm-hmm. How did it taste? Mm, it didn't taste like anything to me. The squid I got is like a transparent <laughs> squid, so it just didn't taste like anything. Mm. It was a while ago. I mean, I used to eat like goldfish as a, a kid. I used to like swallow goldfish, so I don't think you're supposed to do that either. But I would just eat the fish out of the bowl. Why would you do that? I don't know. I thought it was honestly food. I was young. I was like five. Hmm. Yeah. And um and and uh, what are you, I'm just curious when you eat a lot because I saw you for example when you did recently was like pizza and Chick Fil A. Mm. And so do you have like wild bowel movements after you do the mukbangs? Ew. <laughs> Someone asked us on this other <laughs> podcast and it got cut because it was such a gross topic. I won't cut. Yeah. Well, please do. It's so, it's <laughs> well, so you didn't gross. say anything gross yet. But you gotta have like crazy. I don't. That's um, that's the thing. And people talk about this, and they think it. They think it's another lie. Do you want to come measure my bowels every day? You can. I don't I care. I definitely don't. But <laughs> it's just it's like uh, the law of physics, I don't right? Do what it. comes in must must go out. I know. There's something literally wrong with my body. <laughs> I'm not. I'm maybe not you just eat that. a lot. Yeah, maybe it's just used to it. Yeah. That's probably why I have a gut because all my food stays there and it doesn't adjust. All right. Well, enough with the questions. Let's get to the eating. <laughs> okay. So, guys, this is the part of the show where it's pretty much you know. <laughs> It's just going to be a shit show from here, so <laughs> don't expect anything. But what I what I mean is there's going to be lots of chewing and eating. And oh, just really, I'm here for pizza now. Okay. So here's what I want to do with you. Let's take a slice. Okay. This I've is been, my kind of mukbang. I like just the tips of the pizza. I don't ever eat the crust. I just eat like the tips. But okay. You don't even get close to the crust. Yeah. Interesting. It scares here, me. Ila, this is for you too. Um, yeah, plate. Uh, yeah, this would be messy. Good call. Okay. Is this like? Is this for the podcast? Yeah. Okay, it's not gonna end up on like a porn site or anything, right? <laughs> what? Uh, unless it's yours. <laughs> oh, <coughs> that's fun. Um, H three H three was just come out of their mouths. Yeah, uh, but I mean, I'm not taking off my clothes. I'm just eating pizza. <laughs> that's what's hot. That's the hottest when you don't take off the clothes. Okay. So, um, I don't let's eat. Dip ranch. it in. Okay. Like. Oh my god! Really? It's a mukbang. That's a. Lot. Okay, don't splash it everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's not as gnarly as I did it. Why did you do both sides? That's hard to eat. It's mukbang. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. And then what do we do? Just, so we just, we hit it. We just eat it? And that's yeah. it? That's the rest of this? That's, I mean, yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> so gross. <laughs> and the ranch is awful. Ian got ranch light. Oh. I have to eat it though. <laughs> Ian got <laughs> light ranch. Which oh. Is so much worse. Uh uh-uh. uh. That ah. Uh, he's rotten. Ian. This That's is so disgusting. Why light? Why light? I'm not touching. Somehow this. I think it wouldn't help though. I've swallowed it. I'm gonna wash it down with a different one. Yeah. I'm gonna... Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, That's so gross. The of the, it tastes uh... like bugs. What? It tastes like a bug. Really? Hmm. Don't you think or no? I, I never really tasted like a bug. I know you think I'm the worst, but I actually really like you. I don't think you're the worst. I don't either. I don't think anyone is the worst except like Donald Trump. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I mean, he never said that. <laughs> really? We hate him here. Um, okay, well, thank you, because I actually, I genuinely like you. You. I was, I was looking at you when you I meant to say me you. Like yeah. So I genuinely like you. Thank and I'm, you. I'm glad you had a real baby. I didn't know this. I'm sorry. I do apologize <laughs> for all the baby comments, because I thought it was fake, so my apologies. He's very real. <laughs> He's very yeah. real. So, I can um, get pregnant, so you're lucky. There... Mm. Yeah. Why not? I had chlamydia twice and it damaged my tubes. So when I got the HSG test to see if I was fertile, I was blocked. My tubes are scarred. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Did you catch chlamydia in the line of duty or in yes. personal life? I would say in the line of duty. I blame my personal boyfriend at the time. I think it was in the, in, during work. Hmm. But no. But, but you were using protection, right? No. Oh. That's why I stopped. Wow. Yeah. They don't want to have condoms. Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I just got an STD test if you want to see it, though. If you, you want to see that, Bru? No. I mean, I believe... I'm not... I don't, okay. Not I feel like I need to prove that everything now. <laughs> not everyone thinks I'm a liar, because I really didn't know, but... the receipt. Yeah, I have the receipt. That's I'm not... That's terrifying. Yeah. It's yeah. not scary? Yeah, it was really scary. I, well, at the, at the time, it didn't bother me. I was like, whatever. But now it's scary. That's... Wow. Well, yeah. Man. I get... I, I get... Yeah. But I don't love condoms. But you should wear them, but they're not great. Well, I mean, in your line of work, I would assume... Well, I don't do that anymore. It would be mandatory. <laughs> no. They don't want to do it. You mean they... They the clients? Mm-hmm. I would like, think okay. that they would want it too. Well, that's how nasty guys are. That's how nasty fucking straight men are. They just stick it in anything. Even when I was ha- only straight, I don't understand. Do you, only straight. Do you really? think that you hate well, straight men because of your previous experience working in that profession? I don't think so. I think I just always. Did you always them. hate straight men? Mm-hmm. Do you hate your father? No, I love my father. Why do you think you hate straight men? They're just awful. They're the worst in general, so everybody. I just looped you in there because you're in that category. I'm just trying to understand because I don't think all women hate straight men. No, just me. But I'm, I'm also, but I, I, surely okay. it must be for a reason. Huh? Mm, it no. must be that. I just don't like them. There's certain people you just don't like. And straight men are my enemy, I guess. You're racist against straight men. I don't know if that's racist. That's maybe... Have you had bad experiences, though? Um. Yeah, I think so. And I hate all of them. Like, I hate every single straight man that's been in my life. So maybe, maybe there is some background to that. Have you been cheated on? Lied to? Uh, yeah. Bad relationships. All of them. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe there is something to that then. I don't know. Yeah, everyone cheats on me. Everyone's awful hmm. and the worst. And straight people love to hit. Like, I used to get, like, beat the shit out of and stuff like that. Like, people used to beat the shit out of me when I was, like, Who my first, like, three people? relationships. That's, yeah, my first, like... like, three years in L.A., all, everyone. Like, I used to just get, like... Every night was like a fucking like boxing match and stuff. But gay men have never been like that. Lesbians have never been like that with me. Um, so I guess I just hate straight men. And you know what? I keep Ethan going for them. doesn't hit anyone. Yeah, I say that my experience is with them. But yeah, no, that's not why I hate the majority. I assume most people don't beat the shit you out of each other. ever worry that? Because clear, I mean, clearly not all men are violent. I mean, like that. Yeah, but but some are, and a lot are cheaters. A lot are, yeah. a lot are perverts. But I think a lot underage girls, like, <clears throat> yeah. So, do you are you ever afraid that it might be the your choices drive these bad characters into your life? My choices, how? And men, the men you're attracted to. I feel like I date everybody. Like anybody who wants to date me, I'll date them. <laughs> so I feel like I I don't. I'm not picky. I just date whoever wants to date me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe the image you put out to the world attracts the wrong kind of guy. I've heard that. Oh my god, this is like therapy now. Like, oh my god, so deep. You are like a dad, even though you're only thirty four. You're like a forty five year old dad. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of like love you now. Actually, I'm sorry. You're not the worst. I actually. Oh my god, I kind of like love you. You make me want to cry. Like I honestly feel like crying. But you've thought about that before. Well, because, like, you're asking me questions about me and my relationships. I mean, <laughs> I'm, like, literally going to cry. Well, I'm curious why you hate straight men. I mean, there's clearly a reason. You you're know? so sweet. 
I just like love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, mean, so I find it interesting that just some oh, like basic interest in your in you as a person can react such an uh, emotional response. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I'm so sorry. I'm like fucking all the drugs. I'm, I'm sober. This is so nice. I like really love you. Wow. Okay. Okay. But but I th- I find that yeah. I mean I can see why. <laughs> we gotta get you a. We gotta get you a. A good man in your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is this that you're marrying? Yeah, tell me about that. <laughs> Who are you marrying? We should figure out who's this guy. What does he do? <laughs> I, I can't talk about him. Why? Because. <laughs> well, that's can't. a bad sign already. I know. <laughs> well, people like to be private. Okay, well, tell me about him. He's he's just really great. I just met him like about a month ago. He just kind of came. How'd you meet him? Online. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, how? Just online. I can't really delve into it too much, but just Social online. media? N- not necessarily, no. Email? No. Dating app? I can't talk about it. I can't talk about how we met because he'll get mad. Like people will is know. He, uh, is he a public figure? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, <clears throat> he's a public figure. I you feel guys like I had a world. Get you guys had a whirlwind <clears throat> romance. Yes. But why get married right away so fast? I Let me see your ring. Is that your engagement ring? Yeah, I just want to get married. It's pretty fat. Is it real? No, probably not. <laughs> I I don't know. I didn't ask him, but I'm sure it's not. It's pretty I don't big. Think he makes money. Yeah, then it's not real. Okay. Well, maybe he does make money. I don't know much about him. I really don't. Does it matter to you if a guy makes money? No, not at all. I like guys that are broke, actually. When my last boyfriend, my last boyfriend, I met him, and he was broke as fuck, and then he started making money, and he left me. Hmm. It happens all the time, so I prefer them broke. Because they're, they're less likely to look for, in your mind, better options. Yeah, because they're like, they're more humble and shit. Once they get money, he's like, okay, I'm going to go fuck a 17-year-old webcam model. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, good luck with that. I guess she was 18. I don't know whatever the fuck she was. I can see. I can. I can see that you've had a lot of negative. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, this is so much. All of a yeah. sudden, <laughs> thank you for being nice. <laughs> I really like you. Okay, and you. I love you. But both. what? How? What can we do about that? Like, you guys what? are good for each other. You guys are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm sorry. You guys are just good for each other. You're just good people. I'm glad you had a baby. I'm glad you were blessed. <laughs> <sighs> this is so fun. You know, me and Ila, God. Me and you have been together for like 12 years now. I know. That's amazing. It's beautiful. I think I'm just a little <laughs> jealous. I'm sorry. If you found the right guy who you're well, you're engaged to a straight man. Mm. So how does that jive with you identifying as a gay man? It's fine. You can be straight. Does he know you're a gay man? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's cool with you. Yeah, of course. They guy. see my videos. My videos are out there. Mm-hmm. Right. That's probably. I mean, presumably he came to you. So this guy is a public figure, but he doesn't have money. Uh, not like he's not balling. He's not rich. He's I, not I a millionaire. Think so. Maybe, but what's a millionaire? You know, I'm a millionaire. I don't have money. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those. Yeah, things. there's a difference between you know one million and ten, twenty exactly, million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a millionaire. Good for you. For sure, yeah. But I'm also <laughs> just spend my money like a crazy person. So, what's it really mean at the end of the day? What know? do you waste your money on the most? Um, shopping. <laughs> my music videos are like a hundred thousand dollars a piece. Those are really <laughs> high level productions. <laughs> yeah. I have to say. I, I kind of I've been doing like two a month, so I need to like <laughs> slow down on that. But and purses, you. <laughs> I've noticed you, you're you touring a lot. Is it your music that you go and mm-hmm. tour with? Yeah, it's over now, but yeah. Just finished touring. Do you make money from that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love, I'm really good at making money. I've always had been, whether it's like hooking, stripping. Now it's like Patreon tour, music. All you have been on like every single show possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I go out. I love, I like, I like, I like, yeah. I don't know. Oh my God. I think I just like attention, I think. I think I honestly just like attention. So honestly, I wanted to come on. This podcast forever, and look at that. My trolling landed me here on this podcast, so. <laughs> yes, it did. I mean, and, you know, look, when we when we talk about you, people like to watch. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I didn't know. I like You know what I do? This is how psycho and, like, narcissistic I am. I like to go to when people make videos about me and talk about me and use me as a thumbnail. I like to compare those views to their other v- videos. I'm like, let's see if my video with me and the thumbnail. What did you more. find when, when compared? Yeah, I got more than the Bobby Lee interview, which I'm shocked because I feel like Bobby Lee's a big deal. He is. He's a big deal. No, was, yeah, I'm saying you're... I, you're an I, interesting person. I think, oh. I think, and I think this episode is going to do very well as well. I think people are going to enjoy it. And people are going to click. I am not promoting this. That's fine. I'm kidding. Yeah, you're you're I mean, you. honestly, you're, you're like, we don't need the promo, bitch. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. No, thank you for having me on the promo. Oh, 
Oh. Well, I, I, I hope that. Um, Should we be friends in real life? Yeah, of yeah. course. I'm, I've never. I've always been. Uh, <laughs> I've always considered our jousting as as friendly. Okay. And uh, I've I've always figured you probably think of. I mean, especially recently. Yeah. When you make a video and I make a video, then you, <laughs> it's fun. And yeah. I was, and I always get excited when you respond. I'm like, yeah, maybe another <laughs> podcast. But now it's over. Now we're friends, and now yeah, I like over. you. And the now fog it's is over. over. If but, you talk about me again, I swear. Now I know where you no. work. I can come here. Well, I feel, I feel like this was the perfect conclusion because I couldn't really draw it out anymore. People were being, or were already going to be like Ethan enough making videos about Trisha. So this is perfect. This is like we get to milk it one last time. Now you need Belle on here because I'm so tired of you talking about her too. I love her, but also like stop it. It's over. I we it. tried. You know we own her spit. That's no. her spit. You find that strange? You're back to being the worst. I love you, and I'm over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jess, this podcast. It's a now lot of emotions like have... for you. Huh? It's been a lot of emotions for you. Yeah, this is awful. Actually, I don't know why I did this. It's like a torture house. Okay. So should we wrap it up? Is this how you experience Always everything? It it's like <laughs> maybe 100 percent this, and then oh my god, you're crying that, five minutes ago. Uh... Now I'm the worst. Kayla gets it. She gets it. Yeah, that's kind of me. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I go to DBT classes. Where's my camera? It's right here. I go to DBT classes, okay? I get it under control. <coughs> What's I'm DBT? fine. For borderline, for borderline personality disorder, a lot of people think I have BBT, and I go to DBT for it. It's group therapy. Mm-hmm. I take the skills. I do the lessons. been going since May 8th. What's up? Isn't borderline <laughs> personality, or may, I'm thinking of antisocial. What is borderline personality disorder? I don't know. People diagnose me with it, so I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> people people on like the online. <laughs> well, my, my therapist did tell me to go to these DBT classes, so I was mm-hmm. just like, okay, so maybe he thinks, because I asked him, I said, tell me, do I have my bipolar or some shit? And he's like, well, everyone has traits of like personality disorders. He goes, you have like traits of borderline personality. But I've never taken medication for any sort of medication. Mm. Um, Mental illness. There's nothing wrong with it. Love mental illness. Talk about it all the time. Love I'm mental this- illness. Well, <laughs> mental- <laughs> we love mental illness. <laughs> mental illness awareness. It's good to know if you have it and keep it under control. Yeah. I love fine. It's fine. I love you for mental illness. All my boyfriends have been bipolar, so it's fine. Well, totally. Like they're functioning. So. Well, let's. I think we're reached the national conclusion. <sighs> Do we have any last words? I'm just going to continue eating pizza. What is that? Yeah. Do you suppose? <laughs> It's uh, your feeding mi- window, by the way. So I know feeding window. Do you do intermittent a... fasting? Yes. Yeah. I call it, it my feeding window though because it's funny here. Oh. <laughs> but I just have you I, lost weight on it? I actually you think just I, started. I, I think I'm doing really well. I feel like at night you are actually doing well, which I'm sad to say because I don't like the feeting window. <sighs> Don't lose too much weight, though, because honestly, I do think, like, I wasn't being bullshit. You do look like a 10. Like, if you lose too much weight, then you're going to be, like, mm, you know what Oxula? I mean? I, th- I disagree. For health, it's good for health, for sure. <laughs> be healthy. You like fat guys? No. I like, I, well, I don't, I, yeah, I've been with fat guys. I like your, I like a little, a little extra, because it's soft. I don't, I never, I don't I'm want him to be extra. skinny. I like it. You I don't, don't, don't like, I don't want him to be skinny. You don't want me skinny, so no. just be healthier. Yeah. Okay, I get that. You're very thin, but very pretty. I don't know if that's offensive. I don't know if you can call thin people thin anymore. I think it's a compliment. I don't care. You look good. I mean, I Thank think you, you look so good. I'm like, you're so lucky. <laughs> but I know you're not supposed to say that anymore. You can't You can't call people thin. That's, well, that, that's the problem. I get it. I get it. I do. But for me, it's such a compliment. Someone's like, you look skinny. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. So I get it. So now I got to readjust myself. See, I'm educating myself, which is what you but should that's, do. But uh, that's the problem that I don't like everyone being so sensitive. It's like. Oh, you don't okay, like people? No. Have I eat this pizza by myself? Yeah, you are. Did you eat anything? No, just I, one bite. Did you eat any from this pie? No, but I'm almost, I had half of mine, so. Did I really eat all that? Because I can eat this slice. You though. can see all I ate. Give me that slice. After I'm done with this pie. I love watching you eat. It's so good. <laughs> Is that why you're with him? Because of how he eats? No, I don't like do it. Do? So good. Like, you just eat. You just don't it care. It makes a lot of noises. I, I know. Don't, I don't like this. You don't? No. I like that you eat. You're you're talented because you can eat and talk at the same time, and it's so it's so amazing. I don't think the audience likes it either. No, I love. I can't. I stop. warned them at this point. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, I love you. You're really cool. Oh my god. You're so, you are like you're just a cool person. I want to be friends. Oh, I'm so excited. Um. Wow, I've eaten a whole pizza. Also, okay. fuck Philip DeFranco. Can I just say that you know how to fuck? What you. did he do? He took your side just because he's your he's a fan of you. I don't want. On our little said? issue on the Instagram versus well, reality I'm right. thing. I'm right. Everyone took my side. N- <laughs> nobody took your side. Everyone's like, fuck him. You can't talk to a woman like that. Like, you can't do whatever. So, fuck Philip DeFranco. And he's like, I'm a fan of History Podcast. So, fuck you. Everybody took my side. Nobody did. Look, nobody did. People were on my side with that. 
Oh my God, you're just awful. <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up. Any comments from backstage? Anything? Are we all good? Yeah, we're starting the music. Oh, we got the music, so. It's over. There's yeah. no turning back. Goodbye. <laughs> How long's the episode been, Dan? Uh, hour and a half. Oh, wow. Oh, shit, that was long. Holy shit. Cute. All right. That went by I, fast. I out mook banged you for the record. That was yeah. impressive. I'm actually. I mook banged the fuck out of you. Or I. D- I don't does it. I found her wrong. I knew it. I don't want to. Does that mean that he has some sort of a problem? He didn't even notice eating a whole pie. Yeah. I I could eat it's a little bit of a like, problem. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem or lack of awareness, I think. I'm, I think in general. I'm not full. Oh. <laughs> I'm not full. <laughs> I'm not full. What can you say? What That's can I say? so hot. Oh, I need to find someone like that. Literally everybody I've been with, too. They just don't eat. Nobody eats. Everyone. My last boyfriend fat shamed me all the time. That's what was a big issue. I literally made a video call like my boyfriend fat well, Why me. would he? I mean, like, why would he start dating you if he thought if he had yeah. an issue with Exactly. Dating? There's videos of him being like, um, how many nuggets are you eating? Um, what? Like, there's a whole thing of him. I don't think he cared. I don't think he didn't care about you being fat. I think he just liked demeaning you. Mm. I think you're right. That's the issue right there. And fuck that guy. Weirdo. Yeah, Jason Ash. <laughs> oh, that's Jason. Oh, Jason would shame me for eating nuggies? <laughs> do, uh, do you want to air any dirty laundry about Jason while we're here? <laughs> no, everyone's like, stop bringing him up. <laughs> but you said it. You said, fuck that guy. So, well, him. yeah, if he said, if he was. He did. Sick. There's a whole bunch of videos. Look that up. There's a whole bunch of videos of him, like, making fun of how what I eat and how I eat. I mean, he's not that skinny. Now he is. He lost a bunch of weight. Okay. <laughs> I don't know him at all. I have no problem with him. Should I? Yes. Okay. I do now. <gasps> yes! Is he your mortal enemy? We're friends! Oh my All right. god! Song, song is nearing the end. Okay, bye. Jason, I apologize. <laughs> for not like recorded. Like yes. It's still on. It's oh. still recording. Oh. We always have a I'll problem you, ending yeah. the show. <laughs> the music meant it was over. <laughs> yes, it is. Over. It is. Okay. I just want to apologize to Jason Nash. I don't, no, I don't know no. you. I don't want you. I don't, I'm not taking sides. You just said fuck that guy because you're like, it just sounds like yeah. he's demeaning I mean, you. Given what you've said, I'm sure he has a different. No, it's out there online. He has a video. dish different angle to the story than you, so I don't. I'm not taking sides. <laughs> but given now, what I said his name, given, like, oh no, I'm not taking sides. I, I don't care. I mean, fuck that guy. I don't know. Him. <laughs> I'm just said saying, that. given you what you said, said, then yeah, fuck that guy. But yeah. I'm sure if he was here, he would be like, oh well, she, I was just uh, she's taking that out of context. He would say that. <laughs> but no, it's on lots of videos. <laughs> well then, fuck him. Yeah, right? thank you. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> Oh, Eli, you found a good man. I'm so this... happy for you. This is so cute. Lahayam. What should we do? Just wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching with us today. Today's Friday, right? Yes, yes sir. TGIF, it is Friday. as they say. TGIF. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Do we have anything planned next week? Um, uh, we have, I think, a guest next Friday. <sighs> Who we got? Uh, I'm checking right now. No, that's the week after. We I don't think we should nothing. say just in case. Okay, okay. We have nothing planned. Yeah. But you guys like that. We won't be making two podcasts about Trisha <laughs> and three about Belle. So, so it's going to be an action-packed. <laughs> going to be an action-packed week next week. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And uh, wish you all the very, very best. And a God bless here. And uh, I, I'm going to... Can I eat your slice? No. But I'm mook banging. It's my feeding window. Okay, thank you guys. (laughs) Bye. Good, happy, good weekend. Bye.